Hey, this is Sue Kaufman, and I am a phys ed teacher and a certified personal trainer. And I've been talking to some of my friends and people on the internet, and uh, they say that they don't have that much trouble being consistent with their exercise. Um, sometimes they, you know, might miss a day or two, but they feel like they're pretty good with their exercise. What they feel they're having more trouble with is being able to eat healthy food. And if I talk to them and press them a little bit, they'll say, well, it's not even so much healthy food, it's just I eat too much food. So I came up with a video series called Trick Yourself Thin. And this will give you some really good tricks that you can play on yourself to help you eat less. Now, there is something called the mindless margin. The mindless margin, and if you read a book called Mindless Eating, uh, it talks about the mindless margin. The mindless margin means that you each day could eat 100 to 300 calories more or less than you need in a day, and you won't really notice it. Most of the time here in the U.S., we eat about 100 to 300 calories more in a day than we need. It's not very much, but in the course of a year, you could gain 10 to 30 pounds in that year and not really know where it came from. So there's a lot of little tricks you can play on yourself to help you eat the 100 calories less instead of the 100 calories more. And the reason we eat those 100 calories more is our society set up to make us eat a little bit more and not really realize it just by the way we do things. So today I'm going to show you some tricks about plating your food and containers of food so that you can eat less and not really even realize it. So most people, if you ask them, they'll say, you'll say, uh, when do you stop eating? And they'll say, I quit when I'm full. But that's not really true. We quit when the container's empty, or we quit when the bag is empty, or we quit when the glass is empty. So here are four tricks that you can play on yourself to help you eat 100 calories less a day instead of 100 calories more. So the first one is smaller food containers. So here's a scenario. You come home from work or school and you're hungry. You come in the door, you grab this bag of chips. Okay, bag of chips, 40% less fat. So you're thinking they're a little bit healthier. You grab the bag, you open the bag, you start to eat. Chances are you're going to eat more than the the serving size that you're supposed to eat, which is about 19 chips. But what if you, instead of leaving these in the bag when you got home from the grocery store, you took them out of the bag and you made yourself little snack bags of chips with about 19 chips in them, which is a serving size, which is probably a lot less calories for you to eat than if you eat them directly from the bag. Bigger bag means you'll eat more. Smaller bag means you'll eat less. All right, tip number two, plate size. Here's typical lunch that I might eat. A little sandwich, bologna cheese, some grapes, all right? On this plate, a lot of space left on the plate. If I was making myself this lunch and looked at this plate, I might think, hmm, maybe I need a handful of chips or maybe I need another sandwich. If I put it on this size plate instead of the big plate, Now, it covers the plate, and it looks like that's plenty of food, and I would stop there. If I put it on this size plate, wow, that fills that whole plate up. So I might take some of those grapes away, or I might cut the sandwich in half. And believe it or not, I won't notice. I won't notice when I eat this that I've eaten less, and I've eaten less calories. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, skinny glass versus fat glass. So here I have two glasses. I have this, little, this is like a skinny little juice glass, and here's a bigger juice glass, all right? So if I want to pour myself a glass of juice, and I do drink juice sometimes in the morning for breakfast or at lunch, I fill up this skinny glass all the way to the top. All right, I've had a full serving, right? But if I got this big glass instead and poured the same amount of juice in it, it doesn't look like that much, does it? It's kind
kind of an optical illusion. So I would probably, if I was pouring the juice directly from the bottle into this glass, I would pour myself a whole extra serving. See, this looks empty, but this one's completely full. So those are three tips to trick yourself thin. And I hope I'll be bringing you some more of these real soon. Stay tuned.